what keeps me going and why? Hmm, it's a very difficult question. Uh, well, musically, you know, it's really uh, discovering um, new music from different places around the world. I mean, I collect a lot of disco, new disco edits. So there's always a new disco edit dropping, releasing, re-releasing, you know, um, you know, going on that journey of discovery of like having a favorite classic disco song, you know, and then it gets remade and like, and there's different versions of it, you know, just going and finding and digging for each and every version really keeps me going musically because, you know, there's always something new to discover, you know, there's always a new angle that each um, producer like tends to take, you know, in, in remixing a classic. But sometimes you just look at the classic, you know, revisiting that classic and going, whoa, um, this is how I used to listen to it as a kid, uh, you know, and uh, hearing it now when I'm a lot older and, you know, what it actually means, what the lyrics mean, some of the instruments, you know, what they evoke emotionally. Yeah, it's what keeps me going. Um, I also like digging in other areas, you know, um, a big sneaker enthusiast. Uh, I love street culture. So, you know, just like looking at what different people, different parts of the world, you know, what street culture means to them <clears throat> is, yeah, it's what keeps me going. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> What advice can I impart on upcoming DJs and ones who are longer in the game? Um, the new guys, I think, you know, pick a lane and stick to it. Uh, and, you know, don't be scared to experiment with new music and don't be scared to experiment with new genres. Because what I find is, you know, a lot of uh, new house, deep house, hip hop heads, DJs tend to get into the game for, you know, the fame or impressing a crowd or, you know, I mean, that's all good and well to make people dance, you know, of course, it's a good, uh, you know, how can I say, it's a good reason to start, but it shouldn't be your primary reason. I think your primary reason should be your love for music and, you know, your love for the, the, the art of DJing and practicing and getting you know, um, yourself or your talent to, 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 to that peak, that way you, you, you feel like you can really um, impress yourself and others, you know. Yeah, I think, like, you know, go in for yourself. Don't go in for the crowd. Don't, don't, don't go in because you, you met a friend of yours who's making a lot of money, you know, everyone loves him, so you feel like you want to put that first over the music the music comes first and for the new for the older guys <laughs> i think let's stop hating on each other man and um and like also you know same thing don't be scared to venture into new genres you know i mean the new um you know genres that are coming out now there's some, quite some 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 you know really really culture defining stuff there so you know don't be don't be stuck in old ways you know just uh, expose yourself to new stuff learn new tricks what is the one rule that i live by be honest to yourself um yeah like i think if i have to translate that into a musical space being honest to yourself means like if there's a genre that you may like that might not you know be that famous or like that palatable for a broader audience sticking to that genre or sticking to that style of music because it makes you happy is is, is what should come first so you know it, it, it's the, the, the mantra that just like uh always goes back to you know being honest with yourself yeah and when you're honest with yourself and you appreciate yourself and you appreciate, you know, the, the 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 value that you know whatever you stand behind brings you, then <clears throat> you're in a better place, man. Next question. 
what's that one mistake you don't want others to make don't play in the red <laughs> um yeah it's a one mistake that a lot of people a lot of djs make is that you know they want to get louder and you 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 know you don't you don't look at the mixer you don't you don't you don't you don't, you don't listen to you know what your monitors are saying because you just want it to be loud and you play in the red and you think people are enjoying themselves but actually you're hurting people's ears um yeah it took a lot for me to kind of come to terms with you know sonically like playing um at an at a, at a volume at a, or an audibility that makes you sound a little bit warmer you know yeah like given you know some places don't have the correct um sound setups they're not loud enough so you you kind of want to crank it up but that's never excuse to play in the red like you know i think your crowd will thank you for it so don't make the mistake of playing in the red cool question four shall i say question five <clears throat> well I am the founder of, well, oh, sorry. Question five is, do you have a brand? Tell us about it. I am the founder of Slow Mo Lounge, which is um, a collective of DJs and performers and influencers based in Johannesburg. Uh, we operate out of Kitcheners in Bramfontein, and our specialty is disco edits, deep house, new disco, classic disco, as well as poetry um you know it's myself it's uh, a lady called mom Thug, another lady called black female messiah the lazarus moon and clive bean we've been running for about six seven years i think it will be our seventh year this year um you know in real time it's 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 an event outfit but online we play host to um a range of international djs and producers some of the most well-known producers in a um podcast or post series podcast series that's hosted on soundcloud and it's really awesome it's really four hour five hour mixes where we pair up south african djs in our arsenal and international djs you know to create mix mix, mix series is um yeah and it's going really great i love it yeah it's awesome <clears throat> next question please just looking for the question <laughs> cool So now I gotta mention scratch it or live it with Tamzini at the end. Alright, cool. You're listening to DJ Congisto all the way from South Africa, Soweto. And uh, let me try let me try again. Um You're listening to DJ Congisto all the way from Deep Club Soweto, South Africa, and you got it unlocked with scratch it or live it with Tamzin. Thank you so much.